Do you want to see my office? And let's go through and then let's. Uh, well, it's sort of half Let's talk about you. Half an office here. This is my piano room. And some very good songs and written on this piano. What know. did you write, write on them? Mm, well, is it true what they say about Dixie? You know, is it true what they say about Dixie? was written on this piano, and I have a wonderful ballad that I wrote words of music for that uh, perhaps you know. It, it's a standard, more or less, called I'll Never Forget You. Oh, yes. But you and I forget you. That was on this Not piano. Good. Oh, there are lots of songs. Fantastic. It's a very old piano. I don't you don't play piano yourself. No, I don't play the piano. Or oh, one finger, I mean. Uh, uh, I think Berlin is an improvement on me. He plays with three fingers. <laughs> and, uh, but I love the piano. One of the reasons I began writing songs is because I like to be around the fellows who play the piano. Oh, yeah. I used to make up titles for George or for Gershwin all the time when we were very really? young. Just to have them see what notes you could fit to a title, even mm -hmm. a meaningless title I would sometimes uh, throw at him just to see what chords he would... Uh, uh, well, let's go into your office and talk about uh, your time with Gershwin and how you wrote Swanee. Swanee? Well, for, first well, of well, why don't we talk about your early days, in fact, how you actually began in Gershwin, Gershwin and I wrote our first song, he was about 19 and I was uh, 20 or 21. A song called You Were Just You, he was a piano player. Uh, uh, and so he saw it quite because they would send him out in those days in the 1920s. He would pluck songs very often uh, from a truck. Don't you need, don't you know? Piano on a truck and and uh, uh, George would play. They had quite a few uh, uh, employees who did that. Uh, and he rehearsed the artists at Revish, Jerome H. Revish on 46th Street. I was working for the Ford Motor Company at the time. Were you I writing was, songs? Were you I, writing songs at that time? Oh, yes. I've been writing songs all my life. I began uh, not having them published, but I wrote songs when I was a little boy of five or six. I would listen to the songs, make them up for myself, just to entertain myself and to entertain my friends, I imagine. I've always been more or less of a hand, you know, extrovert, trying to communicate with people one day when I used to make little speeches. Yeah. When I was writing songs, we were making speeches. <laughs> and uh, so George and I started, uh, our first song was a song called You, Just You. Yeah. And uh, Chappelle's in London, uh, published it at the time. I think it was Chappelle called maybe Francis Day in those days. I don't know whether the Palms of America had any uh, understanding with uh, Chappelle. What was the first big hit you had? Well, the first big hit we had was a song that went into a show here called Good Morning Judge, uh, which was based on an English farce called The Magistrate. And the song was, and it was quite a hit, and a little bold for its time, and brought us to the attention of all publishers, a song that, uh, I was so young, you were so beautiful, what was a fellow to do? I was enraptured with you, they told me not to, but still I loved you, how oh, I loved you. I was so young, you were so beautiful, they said you couldn't be true. Each time I looked at you, my heart grew sad. T'was then I realized why men go mad. You made me give you all the love I had. But I was so young, and you were so beautiful. It was a, what year was that? Oh, around 1900 and, uh, 17, 16, now that's before 17. Swanee then? Yes, and then came Swanee. Can you tell us the story behind Swanee? Why, how did you come to Very it simple, like very simple. Uh, there was a, a, a raging one step at the time called Hindustan. That was around 1919. Hindustan, where I came to rest my tired caravan. I think it was by an English composer. I'm not sure. You might check on that. And uh, I said to George, why don't we write an American one step? And so we went up to his home one evening here in Manhattan, and in 15 minutes, Swanee was born. But how come the idea of the South? Was that current at the, the Just How does any idea come 
to... Uh, it was Dixie Current at the time. Most writers. I mean, most of the boys who've written about Dixie had never been to Dixie at the time. Neither had George nor I been to, uh, down south. After the song became a hit, we took a trip to Florida, and in crossing over, crossing the border from Georgia into Florida, there's the Suwannee River. And the uh, conductor or the porter on the train, who knew something about what we were up to, said, boys, there's that river you rode about. <laughs> we looked down, and it's a nice muddy little stream. It's a good thing we rode the song first. <laughs> yes. But Stephen Foster, who wrote the real Swanee, you know, way down upon the Swanee, he never saw the Swanee River either. That's got a very nice verse, that Swanee. Oh, that? I've been away from you, Could you for sing a long it to time. I never thought I'd miss you so. Somehow I feel your love was real. Near you I want to be. Boom, 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 boom. The birds are singing and it's song time. The banjo strumming soft and low. I know that you yearn for me too. Swanee, you're calling me. You're calling Swanee. How I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swanee. I give the world to be among the folks in D-I-X. I even know my mammy's waiting for me, praying for me down by the Swanee. You folks up north will see me no more when I get to the Swanee shore. And so on, it's a trio. You know what, Laddie Cliff? Oh, he yes, the English shop. In England? Yeah. Yeah, and he did it very well. He did it very well. And Jolson, of course, made it here. Uh, if it weren't for Jolson, Swanee would have been forgotten because it wasn't a show at the Capitol Theater, which in those days was one of the main movie picture theaters of the country, uh, with an orchestra of 70 and uh, a great show. They had the Dummy Task Review. Six. Did Jolson take that song straight away, or did you have to? No, 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 no. The show was in the Capitol Theater. Uh, the the uh, song was in the Capitol Theater, and uh, the audience loved it and applauded it, but it didn't sell. It wasn't commercial. The publisher thought it wasn't commercial. We thought it was commercial, and uh, he did nothing for it. He loved it, but after all, when 5,000 people hear a song uh, twice a day and applaud, and then, don't know, and then don't go to the shops to ask for it, it's reasonable to assume that the song is not commercial, but he was wrong. It needed the right person to present it. And one day, Jolson threw a party. He was going to the Winter Garden across the street from the Capitol. And uh, George happened to be at that party. And uh, George played the song, and Jolson did it in the next 72 hours. He, his arranger was there, Al Goodman, and his musical director. And he said, Al, I'm going to do this song on Thursday. Now, this was a Monday. Mm -hmm. And he sang it. And from there on, it took off and never stopped. It's a standard, as you know. Did you, yes. Did you um, write the words first, or did he write the tune first? Or how writer the no. Where's the music? Writer the piano. I see. So he's closest kind of collaboration. Really? So he just sat down and what? Had, had he just got, got a phrase there on the piano? It's true. No, I'll, no, I'll tell you how, uh, how it began. Of course, there was no pianist like George, you know. He, invent, he had these chords long before he knew what they meant, these ninths and so forth, and, uh, modern chords. And, uh, and his counterpoint was always there. Uh, he started with the introduction. Yum, da 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 da. I've been away from you. Well, he went straight into it, like straight that. Straight into it. Sheer inspiration. Good lord. Well, a song sounds like an inspired song. Yeah. And they just kept. It's hard.